All right, this question, we have a sound wave from a loudspeaker and it's reflected black back along its original part by a reflector. All right, so our setup here is that we have a sound wave traveling in this direction, okay? By the time it reaches the reflector here, it will reverse direction this way. Okay? Uh, this is a condition for standing wave. So if you can't tell that this is standing wave, then maybe you need to watch some lecture videos about standing waves. Whenever there's a reflector and two wave traveling in opposite direction, condition for standing wave is achieved. All right. So it says here that a microphone initially at point X where the sound intensity is minimum is shown. So they're very annoying one. Normally they will call these notes. But today they decide to call it minimum. Okay, long. So this is minimum, minimum, all the minimum points here. All right. The microphone is moved towards the reflector and passed through four more intensity minimum. So one, two, three, four. Until reaching the fifth at point Y. This is number five. Okay. The distance XY is 70 cm. What is the wavelength? <clears throat> wavelength of the sound, lambda. So to find lambda means I need to be able to draw my wave profile, okay, my wave shape. So if I think about all of this as minimum, my wave will look like this. This is minimum, minimum, minimum. So think about drawing your standing wave pattern, okay. The dotted line is the position of uh, one of the uh, wave profile. And the subsequent wave profile is the full line. So these are all your nodes. So if you can draw out the stationary wave pattern, then you can actually count your lambda, right? So here to here, this one is one lambda. Here is two lambda. And here is half a lambda. So the whole thing is 2.5 lambda. And 2.5 lambda is equal to 70.0 cm. So from here, you can find lambda by using 70 divided by 2.5. Okay. So if you need a bit of help, uh, the main skill here, this is 28.0 cm, answer is D. The main skill here that we are testing is number one, can you draw, can you identify as a standing wave? If you cannot, then you know to start the question already. Okay. Number two, after you identify a standing wave, can you sketch the wave pattern using the information given? So for example, all the amps are nodes. So these are all nodes because I'm picking this point here as my equilibrium position. Now, okay. So the string is either in the full line or the dotted line position. So the wave is either in the full line or the dotted line. Okay. The second, once you sketch the wave pattern, step number three is to determine the number of wavelengths. So count the cycles. One cycle, one lambda. And then from there, you can just write 2.5 lambda is 70 cm and work from there. All right. This skill is very standard, will be tested in your paper one and maybe in your paper two. So if you cannot, you don't know when we get standing wave or you do not sketch the wave pattern, go and watch the lecture videos in our playlist. Okay count the cycles, and then equate them to lambda. Sometimes they will ask you to find the frequency by giving you the uh, speed of the wave, but that is not the case for this question. All right, that's it for this one.